Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome to Washington, New Jersey. This is One Man's Travels. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what is going on. The, the, the title that you clicked on for the video for this video said the Grand Canyon. Obviously, this isn't the Grand Canyon. Uh, <laughs> this is the first for me. Well, and I'm sure there's going to be more to come in the future, I'm sure. But uh, this is one of the places that I go to every week on this job that pays for my internet so I can bring you these cool videos. And these all these really cool places that I go. This one's a little bit different in that uh, there will, don't, don't worry, you'll get to see the Grand Canyon. We'll see that in just a few minutes. But when I was recording all the footage, I didn't realize I'd never recorded an introduction for the video until after I already got, got home and I started to edit the video for that. So this is your intro for the Grand Canyon. So here, so enjoy this view of all these, this, this corn that's, Pretty damn tall now, probably getting ready to be harvested anytime soon. And let's roll the introduction. We'll take you straight to the Grand Canyon. Right, we're at the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. We're just kind of taking a look around and well, we will go outside. Don't worry about that. We're going to go outside and check out the Grand Canyon. But I figured we'll just take a look around here and say this is the Glen. And this and four similar wood boats, wood boats were used by the 1921 to 1923 U.S. Geological, Geological Survey Expeditions down the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon. Wow. <laughs> Looks so safe. Okay. And here's a large, like, 3D map of the Grand Canyon. And look, there's the little you are here dot. What's that red dot? That was where it was like we went through. Let's see. Alright, and here's the main information desk. Nothing too exciting to see here. There is a video over there, Canyon World. Uh, we didn't watch it. Um, let's see. That's a trekking device. Trekking the big horns. I don't need stuff here, actually. And it's actually not really hot today, which is awesome. So now I wasn't originally planning on making a Grand Canyon video, maybe upload some snapshots, which I will show you a couple of pan <laughs> pictures that I have taken here. I'll have to build a few of them. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure. They have this uh, desert uh, tower thing. I don't know if we'll be able to see that, but we can. I'll be sure to show that off. Let's see. Oh, looks like there's also one more video. Oh, wow. <laughs> About prohibition. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Look at this. Ancient animal figurines. I guess these are ancient toys. Split twig figurines like this one have been found in dry caves within the canyon, usually under rock. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Carns, cairns. Um, their careful placement suggests that the figures may have been part of hunting rituals. Oh, I figured they were toys. Guess I was wrong. What else we got? Let's see here. Oh, ground sloth skull replica. At the end of Ice Age, 10,000 years ago, Grand Canyon's climate supported mammoths, camels, horses, ground sloths, and paleo Indians who hunted them. Huh. Oh, wow. That's what was used to grind corn. Roots of with the past. 
Over the centuries, some native people left Grand Canyon. Today, their descendants keep ties to their ancestral homes. They return to trade, perform ceremonies, and to gather traditionally used minerals and plants. The salt, check that out. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Okay. Whatever the heck that is. What you got there? Yeah, the 3D picture? Look at my hair. Oh. Do you want to see the Grand Canyon tour? Tourists. Yeah, I'm going to get you a sneak peek. It, it's two pictures in one. Yeah, it makes it 3D. Oh, pretty cool. Let's go check out the Grand Canyon. Alright, well, so before we make our way and show off the canyon, there's this little circular path here. It's pretty cool. This shows all the, uh, the native tribes that call the canyon area home. You have the Navajo, the Zuni, the Hopi, Southern uh, Paiute. I'm really sorry if I'm butchering any of these names. The uh, Havasupai, the Halapa. Holopai, Yavapai, Apache. If I'm pronouncing any of these correctly or incorrectly, I apologize. But here's a seal in the middle, it's pretty cool. So, but that's not where you watch this to, to see. So let's go ahead and continue on, go to the viewpoint up here and show off the grand. <sighs> so after a little bit of a hike, we're over here at viewpoint. Holy crap. That would be awesome to get over there. All right, let's take a look over here. <sighs> that is a view. Now, I'm not going to get all scientific and geological on you or give you any history lessons because, quite frankly, I, I don't want to be misquoting anything. <laughs> but I just figured since I'm here, just got to show off this. I mean, this is awesome i mean it really puts it into perspective i mean how big this is let's see if i can show a little more canyon a little less sky wow that would totally suck to fall down <laughs> oh wow what was that you want to go over and check that out all right let's head on over there all right we got to leave this plaque the stephen ting mather viewpoint he laid the foundation of the National Park Service, defining and establishing the policies under which its areas shall be developed and conserved, unimpaired for future generations. There will never come an end to the good that he has done. Alright, this is the, the viewpoint. Quite impressive. Yeah, a long way down. So let's go and let's walk along here and get some more pictures and <laughs> video of the area surrounding. Hold my camera or phone. I don't want to drop this on a bitch. It's a long way down. There's the Colorado. Do you see it? Right down there? The gray? The gray with the white too. I guess we'll sink to this side and get the middle in just a moment. Oh wow. Check out that. Oh it's weird. It, you know, with everything being so far away, it's it's kinda hard to focus on everything. Too bad they couldn't extend this thing out there. That would have been cool. Get one more quick peek over here. Alright, here we are. This is the furthest point on the uh, viewpoint. I mean, the canyons just go everywhere, way out there, all up through there. I believe I took a picture of that 3D model inside the visitor center so you can kind of see the whole layout. Way down there, you got the Colorado River. Yeah. 
All right, now it's time for photos to start off this handsome devil right here, and then I take it back inside one of the other visitor center, and this is that large scale model that I was talking about. Um, it's, it's pretty cool; you had to see it. Um, but yeah, and this is a panoramic that I made with my uh, my phone. It, it it turned out all right. I mean, it was cool, but this one. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the pan effect. This is what I use with my DSLR, and I had to use a um, what do you call a, a photo stitch program to stitch. I think seven, five or seven, sixteen megapixel photos and stitched them all together to make this panoramic. So. If you couldn't tell from the photos, I mean, the scenery here was absolutely breathtaking. And so and I'm glad I had this opportunity to get these photos and these videos and share it with you guys. So, yeah, thanks for that. All right, well, thanks for joining me here at the Grand Canyon National Park. We'll see you out there on the road next time here on One Man's Travels. Thanks for watching.